Hi everybody, it's Mr. P and I wanted to give you a couple of tips on how to work on your PSA project for your science project that we're working on. I know you've all watched your video on Mystery Doug and some of you have even seen the brain pop on what COVID is all about and what's happening now. And it's a great time to put out a PSA or a public service announcement. So I'm here to give you a couple of tips on how to do that. So once you um, have watched the video and understand what the video was all about, we want to get it out there. A PSA is sending a message out to the public about an issue or a problem that needs some attention or might need some fixing. So let's talk a little bit about what some of those things are. First thing is when you're making a PSA, you have to know what your message is got to know simply what you're trying to tell your audience. Otherwise, it's going to get lost. So for us, we're going to be talking about social distancing and how to stay safe during this time where this pandemic is making its way through the country. Second thing you have to think about is how you're going to deliver your message. Some of you might choose a poster. Some of you might want to do a slideshow. Some of you might want to do a movie or something else. But no matter which way you decide to do it, it's really important that you make a plan. You plan out and draft out on a piece of paper what it is you want to say, what you want to do, how you want it to look. Um, you might want to make a storyboard or a little script that you might want to say. Or if you're making a poster, have a quick draft of it, of the words you want to use before you pull out all your markers and stuff. But please remember, it doesn't matter how beautiful and how hilarious and gorgeous your project is, if you don't have a clear message, you haven't done your job very well of getting your message out there. Be creative, use the talents that you have, and make sure you share it out there in the world. But don't forget to get your parents and your teacher's permission first. So some common PSAs are do's versus don'ts, where you talk about what happens if you do do the thing that you're trying to tell people to do versus what will happen if you don't. Uh, another common ex example of a PSA is giving examples of what happens when you do do the thing that you're supposed to do. Um, or you might just have the warning, have a very serious tone about what will happen if you don't follow the message. Some people are very creative and they can turn the message into a song or a rap or some kind of a jingle that people will remember. Um, other people will turn it into a funny story that goes viral that people think about and remember. And again, that message is really clear. So think about what kind of a person you are. If you're really artsy, if you're good with your hand, if you're great at art, well, maybe you want to make a poster with some colorful old words, some eye-catching messages, some gorgeous visuals, snap a picture of it, put it on Google Classroom, but then ask your parents if you can post it on some of the social media um, platforms. Are you a techie? Consider a slideshow where you can have colorful clip art. You can have really clear slides. And if you're really clever, you can turn that into a project where you can do a presentation with voiceover, where your voice is saying some of the things that are important on there. And if you ask your parents, maybe you can get that out there. And then the third is probably the most expertise needed if you wanted to make a movie or a video. Something that's about 30 seconds to two minutes long. A clear message. Again, you have to get permission from your teacher and your parents before you put anything outside of Google Classroom. So make sure you clear that with your parents and your teacher. Um, remember that there's a couple ways that you could do a video PSA. You can just have a, you can be a spokesperson where you're just kind of talking into the camera. You can have more of a story where you plan out a story and you sort of have some voiceover or maybe it's just silent with some music to kind of show what happens. Or you could have a really cool song or a rap that goes along with it. <clears throat> this is one that Mr. P did. I was trying to give an example, and I decided to do a do and a don't. And I came up with uh, three examples of the do's and the don'ts. And I sort of like planned out what it would look like if I were to film myself. And uh, I can show you an example of what it looked like. But um, I'll share it probably uh, on Google Classroom so you can take a look. But as you can see, 